little product placement here in my day six video behind the scenes of Form Z Fundamentals here. I'm Evan, this is getmethod.com, and this is the place where I like to teach architectural designers to learn new skills so that they can be worth more. And so uh, day six video is going to be importing a 3DM file from Rhino into Form Z. Uh, the cool thing about Form Z is that it reads and writes lots of different file formats. So if you want to import or export uh, models because you're working in other programs, or maybe you're working with people who are working in other programs, or maybe you already use programs and you want to get models from those into Form Z because you're interested in learning Form Z and you want to see what you can do with those models, this is great because it actually does talk to just about everything out there. So 3DM files, SketchUp files, FBX files, DAE files, DWG, DXF, all the different stuff that's out there, OBJ, STL, it'll take them all. And so today's example is a Rhino model and I actually start in Rhino and then we export that out of Rhino as a, just a normal 3DM file. So we just save it actually, we don't export it. And then we go into uh, Form Z and we just open up that 3DM file, import it into the modeling environment there. And I show you how the NURB surface continues to be editable. So you don't have to worry about uh, going back to Rhino to tweak it and re-exporting it and re-importing it back into Form Z, it just works. So let's take a look at the day six video for Form Z fundamentals. It's just one small snippet of the overall course that is Form Z Fundamentals. I think it's really important that you understand how these programs can work with each other. Uh, that way, it's they're very complementary. You know, if one tool is really good at something and the other one's good at something, use them for what they're good at. But then I like to work inside of Form Z because it's so fun to work in. All right, so let's check out this video. Let's take a look now at importing something from Rhino. All right, so I started a model here very quickly, and what I'm gonna do is just grab some points and, and shape them just to show how we're doing some smooth geometry. And let's go ahead and turn this into an object. And let's shade this so we can see that this is a, a shaded sheet. And what I'm gonna do is select it, and I'm going to export selected, just as a 3DM file. Let's place that into our directory. And let's go into Form Z and let's simply import. And we'll go back to that directory. And here's our 3DM file, native Rhino. And let's add it to the project. This time we have the option to make it parametric because the 3DM file format has, uh, it's a NURBS modeling program. So I'm gonna click OK. And you can see that it's come in and it is a NURBS surface. So if I click on this object and I say show controls, I can actually see all those controls and I could further manipulate that inside Form Z and it continues to be a NURBS surface. So the interoperability between these programs is pretty high level because they're both uh, NURBS modeling programs as well as surface and solids modeling programs. And so there's a lot more that you can do with a program like Form Z and Rhino than you can with the geometry out of SketchUp, but that's just because of the nature of those two programs. So importing 3D geometry into Form Z to continue to work with it or to rebuild on top of it as an underlay is a very robust implementation and uh, it, it works quite nicely. All right, that is the importing geometry from Rhino video. I've got another video in there that talks about importing and exporting with SketchUp. So those are kind of the programs that people seem to use the most, at least in the business that I'm in, which is architecture. So I wanted to show those off and uh, it really gives you a good foundation on how these programs talk to each other. And again, I think you can really see how Form Z works really well, or it plays really well with these other applications that are out there. All right, so that's it for day six. Come back tomorrow for the final preview video inside Form Z Fundamentals so you can see what the course is all about. And scroll down and click the link and check out this course. You can see the full curriculum. You can see all the 143 videos that are included in this course. A lot of them are very short little videos. So you can go back later and, and just find the piece that you're looking for. You don't have to scroll through an hour of video to find that little piece that you need to reference later. All right, because uh, once you sign up for this course, you have lifetime access to it. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day seven video. I'll see you then. Bye.